This video is closed captioned. The do's and don'ts of visiting Argentina. Tourists from around the globe are drawn to the beauty of Argentina for apparent reasons. Whether you're in awe at the towering waterfalls or hiking along some of the most breathtaking trails you've seen, Argentina has the splendor you need. Situated along the southeast coast between the Andes and the South Atlantic, Argentina is the second largest country in South America. It is home to the ancient Yamana and the Tuelches cultures. Argentina is perfect for you for a vacation rich in history and full of adventure. But just like any other tourist destination, there are some things to avoid and some you won't want to miss. When traveling to South America, it is essential to realize the sun can be very intense during the summer months, which run from December to February. So don't forget to pack your sunscreen. Temperatures can vary due to elevation, and the Andes will definitely bring colder nights. If you're planning on visiting southern Argentina, you'll need to consider layering your clothing at night or in the winter months. With the proper attire, you'll be as comfortable as possible while you see the beautiful countryside. Remember, if you plan on staying out late for the exciting nightlife, it might be wise to take a light sweater even during the summer months as the temperature will drop during the night. Patagonia covers a large portion of South America, from the Neo Negro to the Atlantic coast. Excellent hiking opportunities are everywhere, and it is relatively easy to find affordable lodging when you get tired. The coast itself offers a beautiful view in activities such as snorkeling, scuba diving, parasailing, and a short trip back to your hotel where some of the best food in Argentina awaits. Not only will you be getting some great sun and exercise, but you can expect to spend less than 200 US dollars per day. Inland, there are several national parks where you can observe glaciers, enjoy a hike, or even go whale watching. If history is more your pace, then you won't be disappointed. There are entire parks dedicated to the ancient history of the people who once lived in the area, including colorful rock paintings. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey worldwide by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. Route 40 is the longest road in Argentina and borders most of the country. The scenery along this road is truly something unique because of its stunning variety of landscapes. Frozen mountains, snaking rivers, and sprawling plains are just a few of the scenes you can find along the way. Of course, the trip will be long, and you will have to travel at varying elevations, so be ready for a good long journey. Along the way, you'll go through 18 major rivers and 27 passes in the Andes, all located in around 20 national parks. The adventure never ends in Argentina. If you're worried about expenses, don't be. This one is worth it. The 10-day trip averages in the $2,000 to $2,500 range for two people. That's pretty cheap for a vacation filled with natural wonder. Photographers will get a thrill out of places like Cerro Tucli, a dormant volcano over 5,000 meters above sea level. Since you will travel from rolling plains to mountainous regions, it is possible to stop at a place like Miador El Ventesquero and see the entire route you've covered so far. Before your trip is over, it is simply imperative that you taste a bit of the local wine in Argentina. The wineries, or bodegas as they're called locally, are world-renowned for the unique flavors and the owners are well-versed in providing a delightful experience to visitors. At Bodega Trapiche, the French influence on wine is embraced by using French oak barrels to create micro-terrier wines that will knock your socks off. Bemberg Winery went into operation as far back as the 1850s when Otto Bemberg voyaged from Germany to Argentina, where the family has continued to perfect their craft for generations. Be ready. These tasting tours are not just about sipping wine. There are cooking classes available to pair the best foods, blending classes, and even bike rides through the vineyards. When traveling among culturally foreign people, it is essential to keep in mind there might be different rules than you're used to. This will be true no matter where you go. And in Argentina, there are a few things to keep in mind as you make your way through your journey. Some of these things are more political or cultural in nature, and others are a word of caution to new tourists. Argentina is a country in its own time, literally. Don't go there expecting everyone to be punctual to the minute. While shows and other significant live events will tend to start on time, the local corner store might take a little longer to open than the posted hours. Just take a minute to relax and enjoy your surroundings wherever you go. 
have a drink or two, and you will be in sync with the locals in no time. A big mistake is pointing out the time to a late Argentinian. They will think you are stuck up or rude for doing so and may not be very enthusiastic. And don't worry if you're running late. The next item on your schedule is on the same laid-back schedule as the rest of the country. Remember, you're here to enjoy yourself and take some time to relax, so take it easy, and it'll be smooth sailing. Argentina has a complicated political history and is often misrepresented in the media, depending on the source. Their history with the UK and USA are rocky at best, and they won't appreciate your opinion on matters you didn't live through. However, if you're interested in a fresh perspective, just listen to what people have to say. You might learn something new and find yourself intrigued by their history. Gaining a deeper appreciation for the local culture is always worth it. You will enjoy the trip more when you can put a story behind what you're experiencing. Especially in recent years, politics has been a source of division in many countries, so it's best just to stay off the subject entirely. You may not know that what you're saying is insensitive, even if you mean well. Along the same line as politics, perhaps even more of a bad idea would be disrespecting the local football team. The Albi Celestes are a great pride of the country, and Lionel Messi is widely revered among the most passionate fans you've ever met. They view football as a religion and won't hesitate to let you know it. Again, the key here is to allow yourself to experience the passion for what it is. Or better yet, let yourself get lost in the glory of a game in person. You won't forget the experience, and there's plenty of beer to unleash your wild inner side among the crowds. Just don't cheer for the other team. There are, however, a few things to watch out for in Argentina as a new tourist. For one, it is a bad idea to wear flashy jewelry and take your money or phone out in public. You really don't want that kind of attention drawn to your valuables while you're in another country in general because it's so easy to get stuck without your possessions. Crowded situations provide an easy escape for thieves who know that you won't be able to track them down, so the chances of them getting caught are slim. It's a good idea to store your valuables somewhere out of sight until you are in familiar surroundings. Pickpockets are pretty ubiquitous in any large enough city, so watch out for people who come up and distract you while someone else helps themselves to your purse or wallet. Some thieves in Argentina have turned to a method of transportation that is as versatile as it is fast. Motochoros, as they are locally called, will ride up to you on a motorcycle and steal your belongings right from under your nose. This is becoming a big problem for many reasons. Not only does it hurt the tourism economy, but traffic in Argentina is chaotic already. If possible, avoid leaving your belongings on the ground for long when you're walking along a road or sidewalk. Travel as lightly as possible while on foot, so you don't run the risk of losing important pieces of luggage. Do not forget to tip at restaurants and everyone serving you at least 10 to 15 percent if the service is good. Cab drivers tip them only if they help you with your bags and are friendly. Don't compare Argentina to your country or the USA or any other South American country that is considered rude. The relationship with the UK is not the best, so don't make a mistake to call Las Malvinas Islands the Falkland Islands. Or you are in for a big surprise how heated the conversation can turn and even get physical. So just don't do it. With these tips, you'll be cruising the roads of Argentina with ease through some of the world's most beautiful national parks and beaches. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comment section below the video. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you will be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.